Hello, my name is Daryl Castle and I'm an attorney licensed to practice law in the state of Tennessee and on this video and in future videos we are talking about collections. This will be the first in a series of videos about collections. <laughs> debts that you cannot pay on time every time, what can the creditor, the person you owe money to, do to enforce collection of his debt or enforce payment of his debt? Some of those things, of course, depends on the nature of the debt. If you have a home mortgage and you miss mortgage payments, mortgages are protected by law, so the creditor has to go through a legal process that we call foreclosure in order to transfer home ownership from you to him. We'll talk about all these things in other videos. If you have a car and you miss car payments, here in my jurisdiction of Tennessee, we have what's called self-help repossession. So if you miss a car payment, the, the car creditor, the person you owe your car payment to, does not have to do anything legally to take your car. He can simply send someone out to tow it away. That is what the law allows him to do here. Then you have things like credit card debts, medical bills, and other debts that we refer to as unsecured. That just means that there's no property as collateral. There's no property that would be lost if those debts aren't paid. Their remedy is something else. And that is usually wage garnish. They can take a certain portion of your wages uh, every week by force, by legal force, by court order in order to enforce collection of their, your debt. We'll talk about all these things in future videos. Now the trick to all this, of course, is to catch these things before they happen. In other words, you know that you are behind on your bills. You know that you are struggling financially. Uh, perhaps you've got a lost job or you've undergone a divorce or some other tragedy has happened in your life, but for one reason or another, you have debts that you simply can't pay. You know that in advance. So the trick is to take action while you still can, while the decision-making process is in your hands and not in someone else's hands, because I can assure you, I can guarantee you, in fact, that in a short period of time, it will be in someone else's hands and you'll start losing property. There are steps that you can take to protect yourself in advance of creditors taking your property. And what are those steps? Well, those are the subject of the future videos. We'll talk about them then.